Hi there, my name is Caleb Carlson. I'm going to be doing two pieces for you today. First will be Hotspur from Henry IV Part One. Then I will be doing Algernon from The Importance of Being Earnest. But liege, I did deny no prisoners! But, I remember when the fight was done, when I was dry with rage and extreme toil, breathless and faint, leaning upon my sword, came there a certain lord, neat and trimly dressed, fresh as a bridegroom, and his chin new reaped, shone like stubble land at harvest home. He was perfumed like a milliner, and twixt his finger and his thumb, he held a poncet box. Whichever and anon he gave his nose, and took it away again, who there was angry when it came next there, took it in snuff, and still he smiled and talked, and as the soldiers bore dead bodies by, he called them untaught knaves. Unmannerly to bring a slovenly, unhandsome course betwixt the wind and his nobility. With many a holiday and lady terms, he questioned me among the rest, demanded my prisoners in your majesty's behalf. Now I then, all smarting with my wounds being cold, to be so pestered with a popinjay out of my grief and my impatience answered, neglecting me, that I, I know not what, he should or should not, for he made me mad! To see him shine so brisk and smell so sweet, to talk so like a waiting gentlewoman of guns and drums and wounds, God save the mark! This bald, unjointed chat of his, my lord, made me to answer indirectly, as I said. And I beseech you, let not this report come current as an accusation betwixt my love and your high majesty. the slightest intention of doing anything of the kind. Well, in the first place, I dine there on Monday, and once a week is quite enough to dine with one's own relations. In the second place, whenever I do dine there, I am always treated as a member of the family, and sent down with either no woman at all, or two. In the third place, I know precisely who she will seat me next to tonight. She will set me down with Mary Farquhar who always flirts with her own husband across the dinner table. That is not very pleasant. Indeed, it is not even decent. And that sort of thing is enormously on the uprise. The amount of women in London who flirt with their own husbands is perfectly scandalous. It looks so bad. It is simply washing one's clean linen in public. Besides, now that I know you to be a confirmed Bunburyist, well, I naturally want to talk to you about Bunbury. I want to tell you the rules. Thank you. 